up everyone, Lexi Gavin Mather here. Welcome back to the channel. Coming at you from the World Series of Poker. I'm here with hashtag more Bob, AKA my husband. And we are getting ready to jump in the $1,500 closer event. We are in the last stretch of the World Series. It's the last week. We're a little burnt, right? We're a little tired. Yeah, I'm but not gonna play right away though. You're not gonna play right away? I'm gonna go play my favorite machine. You mean the ATM? The ATM machine. The ATM. I win every time. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they, there's a fee, but my bank gives me the fee back. So there you go. I go play that at $20 a time. And then I take the money and put it back in the bank. Yeah. And I haven't lost anything. I'm like, technically that makes me a professional gambler. That is gold BTO strategy yeah. right there. Yeah. Anyway, uh, it's a pretty interesting structure. You start with 50,000 chips and it's 30 minute level. So you get a lot of chips, but it's a fast structure. So I really, think that we're gonna do well in this one. I really do. <laughs> <laughs> it's a All right, okay, channel. let's go, we let's go. We have no patience, we're not gonna do well. Don't say that to the, to the world. Why'd you shush me? <laughs> Was there somebody around? I don't know. <laughs> People are looking. Anyway, uh, let's go jump into the tournament. Let's go. Here we go. Paris. I like Paris. Okay. <laughs> Before we get into the tournament, Bob has actually just entered a $1,000 buy-in flip and go. So explain to the people what that means. So you buy a ticket and then you put your ticket on the table and you get dealt three cards normally. I haven't seen this one. And you get to look at your cards and you get to throw away one card and then they do the flop. So it takes about as little skill as possible, <laughs> which it's gives gamble. me an edge. I feel like I'm gonna dominate this. You're, he's actually really good at No, what do you mean I'm really good? <laughs> did, I, I you, won once. Yeah, and then what else did you win? You won the 10K seat. The oh, that was on an $80 flip and go. That's yeah. right, I did win that. Yeah. yeah. Thousands of people, an $80 flip and go. No, no it's 164 people. Huh? Where do you come up with your, <laughs> just like it. And he won the 10K seat. I wanna look at your race first in charts closely. Closer, Closey. <laughs> closer, because I'm thinking you just make shit up. <laughs> I don't, and if you do want to see my race first well, charts, visit LexiGavinMather.com or the description box below. Yes, and I've got to go work now. Go, go, let's flip. <laughs> Here's the competition. Okay, it's us against four or five Japanese men. <laughs> we must beat the Japanese because they're pretty much smarter than me at everything. <laughs> they probably speak multiple languages. You guys speak English? You speak English? Yes, of course you do. <laughs> are you good? Are, are you good at math and stuff? Yeah, of course you are. Better than me at everything. Okay. Okay. You're gonna get three Crazy cards pineapple. Flop. You're gonna discard one. If you are on the turn and you have three cards, you've disqualified yourself. Let's rock and roll, Ernest. All right, so one hand of pineapple. Go ahead and line up. Good luck, sir. $1,000. And then if you make, if you win your, your table, then what? You come back tomorrow to play a regular poker tournament. Cool. And this is a bracelet event, right? Yeah, because yeah. you gotta play a regular tournament tomorrow. Yeah. All right, good luck. What's your strategy, sir? I just signed up for the World Series of ATM Machines, by the way. <laughs> Next year, <laughs> we're going. You're so good it's at that. It's in Omaha, Nebraska, <laughs> and and I'm gonna I'm gonna win that one. I'll get a, a, they don't give you a bracelet. <laughs> they give you a receipt. <laughs> yeah, they give you a receipt. <laughs> <laughs> they give you a debit card. <laughs> All right, go, Bobby, go, go, Bobby, go. <laughs> Um, you get it? Yeah. Right. Okay. Right. We need one more. Two. Okay. You don't. Oh. We don't love it. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. We're going for the flush. <laughs> going for the flush. Yeah. I like it. Oh, put it up. No, we're, we're screwed. Yeah, it's over. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's over. We lost. Oh, tartar sauce. Oh. oh, Bobby, come on. Maybe you could go run a runner. <laughs> Babe, it, it's obvious which one you're supposed to get rid of. Which did you discard? Yes, of course. What do you mean, of course? Of course. Well, how many, why don't you jump in with your thousand bucks? 
Yeah. All right, Jack, we want to jump. Let's go! Let's go! Let's go! Tim, 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 Jack, Tim! Yes, I called him. Tim, please! Although, I don't know why I'm saying it. Did I win that shit? Not the sun again. Did I win that shit? Damn. Oh, my God. Fuck this. Harder sauce. How did we lose that? Good run, good run. You played well. Damn, I think I did. All right. Time to go play some real poker now. I know. I'd rather play this, I think. <laughs> it's over. It's like I could go home now. <laughs> 173. What number are you? Uno. You don't even know how to say that in Spanish. Ocho. Siete. Yes. Siete. Uh, hey, that was close. <laughs> 187. All right, let's go. Here we are. Hello. Welcome. Thank you. Okay, here we are on break. We're in a secret little hideaway that we have found that we're not I'm, gonna disclose. I'm tired it's of poker, dark. so this is tequila. <laughs> it's more like vodka. Anyway. You've never had white tequila? Sat, actually, I have. Yeah, you probably broke bones, got naked, some crazy <laughs> story that, ugh. I neither confirm nor deny that accusation. Anyway. You told me you were a virgin when we met. I was. Huh. World's worst PI. Cheers. <laughs> Anywho, wow, it's dark in here. Uh, we're on break. I have about sixty thousand. You start with fifty. Bobby. Fifty. I have fifty thousand. Because. Because <laughs> I busted. Bobby here, busted with aces. Show a picture of that. How can somebody call me all the way to the river? Yeah. What did he have? Four deuce of diamonds. Four three. Four three of diamonds. Yeah, well, it's all right. And then he went in and he entered in another flip and go. That's and how did that secret. work out? That's how did secret. that work out? I was a contender. <laughs> I was right there. <laughs> well, all right. Do you have anything interesting to report? Nope, that's it. These people are tired of you. Mm. They want me to do my own channel <laughs> where I give relationship advice. <laughs> and I did see Lonnie over there. Lonnie Harwood. Lonnie Shout Harwood. I love her. Yeah, and on the flip and go. Oh, really? And I asked her if she wanted to do it last longer, but... <laughs> <laughs> Funny. So I'm a little tired of poker, but you know what I'm really tired of? What? Waiting for you in the bathroom. <sighs> you go into the bathroom for like the whole That's not break. true. No, you do. I... And you go in alone, and then you always walk out with two or three other women. Because I know you guys are well, in there talking. Well, we like, chit chat. It's where oh, we get to catch up. So and I am like how, the fastest... How big is your husband's goer, especially for a woman? How big is your husband's? That's not sense what we talk humor? about. Huh? <laughs> do you think we have pillow fights in there too? I don't know what you guys do in there, but it takes forever. Oh, wah. Uh, wah. I got it. Meanwhile, in the main event, day eight. That's unfortunate. Wow. Crowd. Must see TV. Oh, he's crying. Fourteen players remain in the main event, and it's twelve million up top. This is a big hand.
No sense. Daniel sits down, goes all in, doubles up with King Jack. I have ace 10, I go all in, and I'm out. Oh, tartar sauce. How good does that guy run? Happy birthday, dear Julie. Happy birthday to you. Who knew he could sing? He could sing, he could play poker. Oh, what can't this man do? <laughs> but at least he said my name right. How did he say it? Mather. Oh, that's how we he... say our name? <laughs> <laughs> he usually says neither. He can say whatever he wants. Yeah. He's the OG. Sorry you busted, baby. Are you? Yeah. I don't think fans are. I think they're happy. No, they're, they're not. like, that guy's too lucky in life. He needs to just, he needs some more pain in his life. <laughs> <laughs> GG's. Uh. All right, so we're on break and I just lost a big pot with pocket aces, which was unfortunate. So let's talk about it. Uh, the blinds were 1K, 2,500, 2,500. The cutoff raises to 5,000. I'm on the button with ace of hearts, ace of diamonds. I three bet to 11K and he calls. Now, a lot of people would just like call in a spot and slow play, but I think that it, since it's cutoff versus button, I think that uh, people are, you know, the the cutoff would probably assume that I'm three betting a wide range there, so I might get some four bets or, or some loser calls out of him. So I three bet uh, to 11K, he calls. The flop is ace of hearts, six of spades, five of diamonds. I see that 14K and he calls. The turn is a four of spades, now bringing in four cards to a straight. Uh, he checks and I check back. The river is the jack of hearts, and he bets 15K, and I thought for a little bit, and I called him, he had ace seven of clubs. He's really not supposed to have like too many seven combos there. Like, I guess he can have pocket sevens, but even that hand like might fold to the three bet pre flop. Um, and like, if he had a hand like eight, seven, six, seven, six, seven would probably fold. Eight, seven suited might call, but it would have to be the suited combinations of those hands in order to be able to call, so. And I blocked a seven, which was unfortunate. So that was an unlucky one. Another interesting one that I played earlier, it's a pre-flop spot. The blinds were 600, 1200, 1200. The cutoff opens to 2400. Aggro button three bets to 6,000. And I'm in a small blind with ace 10 of clubs. This isn't like the best spot to just cold call the three bet. And since I have blockers and it's late position, late position, uh, I decided to turn this into a four bet bluff hand. So I raised to 15,500 and both players fold. So that was a good spot to pick up some dead money pre-flop. So I'm back to a little over starting stack, which is definitely unfortunate because I had like 110K. Oh well, uh, I'm hoping to grind it back. Registration is now officially over and we're flying solo because Bobby Boy has, has gone, left us. He might come back later. Anyway, let me know in the comments your thoughts on that hand. By the way, if you guys do like my hand histories and and uh, you want a little bit more, visit LexiGavinMather.com or the description box below because I have some free training over there. Also, please subscribe. I would like that. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. Call, right? Just a yeah, flop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. flop. Run the board. Don't do it, please. Come on, eight. Oh my god. Yeah, nice. Just land. You're on big line, right? Yeah. Oh my god. Alright. 
Poker's dumb. Thanks again for watching, guys. We'll try again tomorrow. Bye.